Well, here we go, Marty DeRosa. Action in the women's division here at the Windy City Classic. We got Hyon making her AAW debut. The Renaissance woman, of course, trained by Booker T down in Texas, taking on a former AAW Women's Champion in Kimberly. I'm gonna be the one to say it, Kimberly, looking in fantastic condition here tonight. Absolutely, Kimberly in the best shape of her life, and right now she is going one-on-one -on -one with Hyan, who, like you said, mentioned, uh, uh, trained by Booker T, coming out of that Houston territory, which a lot of uh, a lot of people in the wrestling world who've made big names for themselves have uh, trained there, and right now she is ready to make uh, AAW her home here. And it's something that Kimberly is not going to let happen at her expense, as these two athletes have not let go of that collar elbow tie-up since they locked horns. The Renaissance woman high and going to the outside, perhaps trying to use those ropes to her advantage. You no, know, just do whatever she can to just gain a little bit of distance. Ah, there you go. And a disrespectful pie face. Sending the the vet a message there. Kimberly, of course, like we mentioned, former AEW Women's Champion, really. Uh, she sees all these athletes coming into the company, whether it's high end, whether it's Chris Statlander, you know, the list can go on and on. Oh yeah, she Kimberly. doesn't want to be she doesn't want to be at their expense. No, nah, she doesn't want to be a footnote in their history. She's the measuring stick here in AEW. The yeah. former champ, she's been in there with just about anybody who's who in this business. Tilt World takes her down. Well it's her, it's Heidi Lovelace and Jessica Havoc. There are three athletes that have been in AEW. Only able to get the two. Had have been in AAW, and of course with Heidi Lovelace was in AAW. They uh, they really sparked the women's revolution here in AAW. If you think about it, caught in that electric chair though is Kimberly. Wait a second. I am. I, oh God. The sensor crashing down. Crashing and now. Face first onto that top turnbuckle Ooh. and a running knee strike, absolutely decimating Kimberly. Pulls her out the center ring. High end with the cover. Kimber able to roll that shoulder up. Kimberly somehow able to get up there. I thought she might have knocked her out on that kick in the corner. Her body went completely limp as she dragged her to the middle of the ring. Only getting the two count. Now the Renaissance woman dragging her back by that hair, driving her head first into the other top turnbuckle. What a victory it would be for Hyan in her debut here at AAW, defeating Kimberly at the Windy City Classic. The pressure's gotta be huge on her. No, I mean, at an all-time high. But if there's something that Booker T teaches down at that reality wrestling school, it's that the pressure doesn't matter. Oh, yeah, it's it's high-pressure Wednesdays. They go over <laughs> everything. Book tells it how it is. You know, you got to be as good as your opponent on any given day. You can't underestimate him. You can't overestimate him. And you can't... You can't put him on a pedestal, so to say. No, That's she's Kimberly. in there. Oh, Kimberly able to go up and over. Hooks onto the back. Ah, uh, watch this. She's oh. going to grab that head and crank that neck. She knows she's not going to get the submission here, but she is inflicting pain on high end. Is that octopus submission on that top rope. Little pain dividend step up in Zaguri. Takes high end down, and now Kimberly going for the cover. Two. Only able to get the two high end able to kick out. I think right now the reality, no pun intended, might be setting in for high end that she is in there with an absolute pro in the form of Kimberly. Pulling her back up to her feet. Oh, no. Oh, oh, she's hey. Her eyes. hey. What day was that, Booker T? Huh? Is that Thursday, Friday? We call, that, we call those Tuesdays. Oh, man. Oh, beautiful suplex with the bridge. Nice wrestling move for a change. That would be my favorite day of wrestling school when you learn how to rake the eyes. I would love that. Well, you know, as, you know, as the soon to be formed Marty DeRosa Enterprise. Well, you know, I am scouting. <laughs> I'm always scouting, Tyler. You never know when I launch Marty DeRosa Enterprises and become the heel manager of my dreams. Look at that, holding on to that. Snapmare into the cravat. The cravat, of course it's the cravat. Man, you are so good at these moves. It's the ropes. Oh, beautiful drop kick. Takes her down. Hyan getting all the ups there. And now mocking Kimberly as she holds that hand high in the air. Looks for the cover. Only able to get the two. I like that. The Renaissance woman, very classy. You know, she knows what she's doing in there. The Renaissance woman taking it to the crown jewel. Holding on to that cravat, now snap mares are over. Grabbing both arms behind the back. What is she oh, doing here? Oh, Stepping, oh, on, the, stepping on the metacarpals. And now fish hooking her. Oh, wow. I don't know if you heard of this, she said smile for your fans. Very disrespectful to Kimberly and all her fans. And then stomps on the fingers in the ultimate sign of disrespect. Paint brushing kick to the spinal column. What do they call that, adding insult to injury? That is what they call it, you're 100% correct. But Kimberly says enough of that. Snapmares are over herself. Ooh. Winding up, kicks her right in the center of the spine. We heard that one up here at the balcony at Bourbon Street. 
jam-packed here. Cannot fit another person oh. in this building. Oh, here we go. I don't know if we can repeat that one here on live on Fight TV. What's that? Uh, what Kimberly Well, yeah, you said, know, we're you know. gonna keep it uh, in ring action. They get the waiver. <laughs> Them and Kurt Stallion get the waiver apparently for uh, for the curse words. Or the standards, ah. standards and practices. Yes. <laughs> these two athletes, these two, ooh, taking it to one another. Snapmare kicks the spinal column in stereo. And I tell you what, Hyann has not uh, endeared herself to the crowd here at Bourbon Street. The AAW faithful firmly behind Kimberly. Oh, and right now we're going to chops. Ooh, ooh and an overhand. We had kicks, now we have chops. Ooh. The welts that are going to be left on these two athletes' chest. And now Kimberly breaking it down. High and fighting her. We got a good old-fashioned violence party at the Windy City Classic, Marty DeRosa. Oh, oh no! Victory roll by Kimberly. Only able to get the two. High and just able to kick out. And ooh, beautiful clothesline by Kimberly. Double hamstring kicks there. Followed with a spinning back kick. And now Kimber bridging German suplex. Only able to get the two. Kimberly with a flurry of offense there against High End. Kicks and high kicks. Those kicks went right up to the head and that beautiful German suplex. The bridge almost enough, but not quite to get the three. And right now there you see Kimberly. She's got her foot in the knee. Ah, oh, just wrenching away. Grabbing that deep ankle pick. God, oh God! Look at that. The human body was not meant to bend that way, Tyler. Really just some high leverage there. Oh, oh. going to the eyes yet again. This high will do whatever it takes to win here. Hey, you're not getting paid by the hour and you're not getting paid by losses. Not at all. The only time you get paid is if you win. Olympic lift onto the shoulders here by Hyen. She got in mind here. Spinning her around, not quite going for a torture rack. Oh boy, this can't be fun if you're Kimberly just looking at those lights, spinning, spinning, spinning. And now reverse it oh, into a... Into a powerbomb there, center of the ring. No, Kimber able to roll that left shoulder off the mat at the absolute last second. How disorienting does that have to be for Kimberly? Oh. First of all, you're going one way looking at the lights, then another way, and then slam down into a sit-out. This Bourbon Street faithful still behind Kimberly. That's the one thing about these AAW fans. They love the newcomers, but they love the people that have been here that got them to the dance. That's right, and Hyen right now having uh, words with our official. Now Hyen backing Kimberly into the corner with authority. Now perches her on that top rope. Forearm strike, make that two in a row. She's setting Kimberly exactly right where she wants her. You got to think both these athletes, whoever wins this contest, has to hot that hot shot themselves into a possible future contention match against either Jessica Havoc or Chris Statland, or whoever walks out with that AAW Women's Championship later tonight. Absolutely, a lot on the line here in this second match here at the Windy City Classic. And right now, Kimberly is holding on for dear life. The Renaissance woman high and going for a superplex, but Kimberly is saying, "Nope, I don't want to do that. Let's do something else." And we're able to battle her way out of it. And here we go, Kimberly, no stranger to the top rope. She's a wrestler, she's a lady, and she's a high-risk kid with that swanton bomb in the cover. That is Gets it. the two. Wow. Eight minutes, eight minutes, 29 seconds. Your winner, the crown jewel, Kimberly.